Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice Classic Unfair. Getting back into things after taking basically a one and a half month break. So I'm going to be playing with you know, whatever composition I think I'm more comfortable with. That would include basic. I do want to play some magical. I think magical is really fun to play. So if I see that, actually, was there magical there? I didn't even, I think it was flex, right? Yeah, it was flex. All right, better items three is not great because this doesn't kick in early game. And by the time you're in the mid game, it's just... Um, I mean, if you have a good trade for it, it's good, but I wouldn't sacrifice any, like, you know, I wouldn't sacrifice six points most of the time to take better items three. Square wheel. Place the three right sides with gain one reroll cantrip blank blank. Mm, not, not super exciting. If we had greens, it would be a little better because you could pick, like, um, you could pick statue and this would be pretty good. But still, for one, I would say it's probably not worth it. Mandatory and pain to all sides. Jeez. That sounds... Actually, I don't know. Maybe that's fine. I don't know. It sounds rough. For two. Bad Wolf's pretty... Hard-ish. Early Curse 2, pretty pretty pickable. So if we find a four... I don't know if I want to take Ad Wolf with that. Spider Soul is pretty much unplayable. Yeah. I would say it's unpickable. Shield response too hard, add board too hard, star damage two out of three. Hmm. I mean, we do have a healer. But still. This doesn't look too good. Unless I want to add wolf, which again is is doable, but also not the easiest and magical, because you don't have that much burst damage. Probably consider re-rolling here. Every second dice use each turn gains exert. That's really hard. Hmm. I don't like the fours. I don't like add board plus slow spells. Even though this is like not too bad for five. Eh. I'll probably roll if I can. Greens fours. I mean, I might, I might just roll into basic again. Worst item is four. Definitely doable. Tough HP kind of kind of hard, but pickable. I'd rather be enforced uh, with this probably. And sinew. So adding a two cost character, but it's sinew. Eh. So like add ogre, add sinew. You gain one point, but you're adding ogre, which is not that bad. I, I think ogre. Somebody mentioned this before that I I skip over this a little bit too much when it's actually kind of pickable. Like, Ogre doesn't do that much. I mean, to be fair, Sinew is not, like, that good of a character. It does give me a tier 2, though. Oscar's 2, somewhat playable. I would rather pick tough HP. I'd rather pick tough HP or worse items for here. So, we'd, lo we'd be looking at 4s, right, with tough HP. It would be I Empathy, which is absolutely absurd, unless you have House Cat. All heroes replace the two right sides with blank is somewhat... Pickable. The only issue I have with right two blank is that it, it does cut off most of your like really good survivability against um against the hand and stuff like that, like dodge. Like you won't have your dodge on your potential on a yeah, potential orange or a some of the blues have it too. So it's not a big downside, but it does add some risk, which I guess all curses do in a way. Slow spells kind of I would say slow spells pretty easy, honestly. So I would want to take that if I can. Doesn't look great though, otherwise. Like if I take a three, I can't really take a seven because there's no one, unless I want to take this with it. This is really not that good. Monster growth is somewhat okay. So I wouldn't mind like five here and then we'd have to take a six, which doesn't exist. That is tough. What about... 3-4-4 four, four seems terrible. I hate slippery dice. Especially with blank. It's a, you do not want to combo blanks and, and like die restrictions or like rolling restrictions. Hmm. It's unfortunate because I do think slow spells pretty easy. I think I'll take tough HP right to blank. Somewhat reasonable, I think. We'll see how it goes. Either way, I'm not like super concerned about like trying to win like every single run right now. I'm trying to get back into things after the break. 
So I'm just gonna play it out. See what happens. We got Dabble though. A really good start. Um So somebody's dying from just boar? Oh shit, that, that has four on four HP, holy shit. That's really unfortunate. Pretty much means I have to burst, right? That sucks. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do that so I could just like focus on damage, maybe hemlock, something like that. But it's fine. Not a huge deal. We are exerted though. Oh wait, I forgot to roll that. Shit, <laughs> that was already a mistake, honestly. So two... Okay, that's good. So I can get rid of this, which should be... Not enough. Oh, they're both focusing Gardener. Jesus. Well, that's really unfortunate, actually, because now I have to do this. Hmm. At least Gardener is broken. If you, if you hit the middle, it's, it's so good. Should have rolled Dabble, Dabble, right? Okay. Extra monster for Seedling. Seedling at the highest value. Uh, growth, growth tree damage is, is relatively good. But, uh, I mean, hiding a Slamla is usually free, I would say. Problem here is that there's already two seeds. And that makes things a lot more difficult for me. But also, this would help me, I guess, in a way. Like I could put it on initiate, probably. No, I wouldn't put it on initiate. I'd put it on. I'd probably just put it on dabble. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take it. Fiender rogue. So fiend is missing a two, and then rogue is missing dodge and cantrip. Uh, I think I'm gonna take fiend. Higher HP also has two damage here, makes this fight a lot easier. Uh, the skill is pretty bad, though. In this case, because, uh... Like, tough HP does, does make this a lot weaker, but still... Still like Fiend. I think Fiend's fine. Basically, it makes this fight, like, yeah, this could have been a disaster, <laughs> essentially. Is what we're looking at here. I don't think I want shield. I want as much damage as I can find. Looks like it's gonna work. We do have slow spells, right? Oh no, we don't. Okay. I guess I just take her. Should I leave the thorns? It's a good question. Going on fiend. I could try to make it flee. It's that, or I have to take a lot of damage just to do that, which is most likely just not worth it. I'm just gonna kill. Them. Try to mitigate damage. Make gardener. Like heal up the the, um, the fiend, or I could just give it undying, which is actually kind of insane. So something like that, and then I I guess I can just kill it. Honestly, why not? Why not just kill it? Okay, there's like no size on Fiend anymore, holy shit. Wow. It's like kind of unfortunate, but it's okay. Place middle with blank in plus three max HP. Pendulum swap left and right. Or left and middle, sorry. So that could be good with, with this, potentially. I could, I could, um, hmm. Could swap like here would be good. Though I still want this to happen probably. Yeah, pendulum is probably just the more useful item. I don't think I'd want the five heal over the shield. Turn one. I mean, I guess uh, this character doesn't really have much more to do than lock that. It's too risky otherwise. I will roll this though. Good. Eh. 
whatever. Uh, I guess I'll just work on the rat first. Claw damage coming in on Gardner. I would be looking for stun if possible. Yeah, sure, I'll lock that. Can you find something more useful than that? Or no? Okay. I just I didn't want to get rid of the um, single use sides early on in the fight. I'd rather just roll for the, the other ones. Okay, anyways. Um, 2 2 2, probably. Yeah, 2 2 2. Should be good here, yep. Dabbler. Yeah, I don't hate Dabbler. It's okay. What's missing from Dabbler? Is it shield and... Is it double shield? I think it is, right? It is double shield. Yeah, that is the downside. Whereas Sinew is kind of losing, like, nothing, right? Just one shield. Also, I could replace this and add the... I could swap and give it the growth side, which kind of... I mean, I guess the cleave chain side is not that good, though. Dabbler. I mean, Dabbler's for sure better than the Dabble. I'm probably willing to take it here. I think Dabbler's pretty decent, even, even while missing its uh, side. Should I give this to somebody else just to have more... Damage potentially. This might be fight where we're lacking. No, we're not. We're not. Fiend does a lot of damage. I guess to be to be completely honest, this might have to happen because this cantrip will just activate once and then not not do anything, right? This is pretty good. I guess I probably wouldn't want to keep that turn one. So much poison though. I guess I can poison Bramble, which is good. Rat dealing damage to Gardner, not a massive deal. I'll probably just work on, on Bramble. Try to get as low as possible. Maybe kill it next turn, that would be nice. That's a lot of damage turn one, actually, wow. Okay, that can stay, that can stay. I guess I'll keep the heal. Maybe could have rolled for the growth, but I just wanted to be as consistent as possible. Okay, so you're dead. You are... Dying to poison, which is not good. Quick silver. Oh, terrarium is so good here. Holy shit. So shield two growth, one mana growth on a two blank. That's actually amazing. That is absurdly good. Now I just have to ask who is it going to be on? Probably Gardner since it has the growth side. Get more use out of that. Also, Gardner is probably my weakest on turn one because it has, well, I had two sides that literally do nothing, right? Yikes. Wow. Holy shit. Um, so just one hit from Slade is killing Horter? That's really bad. I have to hit stun or... So this can hit barrel. Which I guess is fine. I'll probably just lock that. I don't think I can. Can I start just going... Directly onto Slade. I guess I can, but I don't want to roll into Exert or Single Use here. There's the shield. It's pretty nice. That does mean that I... I should roll that still. Alright, perfect. That's, that's insane. That is very, 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 very good. Actually, no, I don't even need that now. It's just this and this, right? That's really good. Should I put extra damage on Slade? I think it's better to just deal with the Soodle. I have a reasonably high chance to just kind of neutralize Slade naturally. Wow. This is absolutely amazing. Um, You're dead. You're stunned. You're poisoned. And uh, that is it. Amazing. Gladiator is really good here. 
it's basically missing no side except for the shield but again I, I don't really care that much about that so this is a really solid character self-sustain engage is really good armor is not very good consistently killing through um steel hp as well which is nice while dying dying to what Goblin and Ogre, two things that I won't be able to kill. Which means I either roll for stun or just accept that Wallop's going to be at 1 HP. I'm going to try to roll for stun. 50-50 it lands on one of the sides that I want anyways. Alright, I'm going to lock that. And a blank. That sucks. Did I poison the Ogre? And that's interesting because I if I can burst it the answer is yes but I think it's too risky because I it, there might be a situation where I actually don't want it to lose too much HP because it will deal more damage and that could be more problematic I guess that's good honestly I could open with this uh, let's see if I can get the oh nice that's amazing okay, this is good so also keeping it at full HP does enable that. I didn't really think about that, but very good. Manure. That is actually kind of interesting because I could. I think I can slap this on and then terrarium, ter terrarium on a unit. And basically it'll be too gross, too decay, and then too normal. But who can even use that? Like, most of the middle sides are the sides that I want to keep intact. It's actually not that good, but it's better than three of a, time, of, of a kind, so... It's either I roll or I take it and hope for a character that can use it later. Might happen. Let me just test to see if it works. Yeah, it does. Okay. I still remember that, at least. I could do it here. But it doesn't make sense. Again, like, most of the sides that I want are middle. So... It's arguably good on Gladiator, because sometimes in... Well, let's say in most fights, you don't really care that much about Engage after the first use. Holy Cyclops. Okay. Probably gonna keep this, or I could roll and lock the next... Yeah, I'll roll. Stun means... I could potentially stun Militia, which is probably good. It's better than rolling this or blank, right? Two mana... Yikes. I don't want to roll Fiend. Again, like, Fiends, I really don't want to start with a single use. It makes my other rolls much weaker. Hemlock is amazing here. Is it never not amazing, though, to be honest? Gardner is such a good a tier 1 character. Stun. Somehow it's going to be useful, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, I would rather find something else, but I don't want to risk blanking here. Wait a minute. I should leave that. Do that. Double. There we go. Now, this is scary, though. This is where things could get out of hand. Two, two, I need... Oh shit, Cyclops is pretty much guaranteed to live here. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. Holy shit. I need a stun. Essentially. And I got it. Okay, this is gonna work out. But <laughs> only because I found the stun. Otherwise, that could have been very troublesome, actually. Is there a better way to do this? Yeah, there is, right? It's actually this here, and then two here, two here. Okay, wow, we're good. Cool. Now, both of these are amazing. This is exactly what you'd want to hit with right to blank. Both these characters have no right and rightmost. I'm not even... This is not even close, though. Medic is pretty much perfect. I need some AoE healing, and we're against an AoE boss. Regen is broken. Renew is pretty decent. Consistent character. 
Oh, consistent, especially doing this. So I can I can hard reroll for specific sides, which is nice. Also, this kind of makes sense now. Just because this side is insane. But you could also argue that this side is also insane. So it's kind of... It's an interesting trade-off. I think I'm okay with this. I think the more impactful side is definitely the heal growth, depending on the fight, I guess. But I will, I will use it. Wait, what? Oh, I was like, why did it auto lock? It didn't, it didn't auto lock. Okay. Some self shield. This is tough. This is really tough. Gladiator really has to find a way out of this by itself. Or I could roll this, try to find mana. Okay, good. It's already kind of safe. Is there a point? Yeah, there's a point in re-rolling that. Most of the sides are better than that. Ugh. Alright, I gotta kill this fanatic. Somehow. Somehow. Gladiator's up. Temporarily. Everybody is dying, though. Which kind of sucks. I do have to kill this. I have to hard kill this. Somebody's gonna die if I don't kill this. Next turn. Medic can't really heal all characters, but this can self-heal nice. Mana is okay. I need a cleave heal though, otherwise we're in trouble. But again, I have consistent sides, that's good. Perfect. Absolutely perfect on wallop. Not perfect on gladiator, but that's okay-ish, I guess. Also, renew is amazing, so I guess we're fine. Should I renew before I do this? Probably, yeah. I mean, why not, right? Yeah. Wow, Medic is just insane. <laughs> Holy shit. It was actually the perfect pickup here for this fight. Super, super impactful. Especially with the uh, growing sides. And it's over, right? Goodbye. Soup. Replaced shield and self-shield side with heal and shield. That's actually amazing. If I find the right character for that, soup is just a really, really good uh, item. Being able to add healing is amazing. Idol's good. Is it better than soup? Probably not. Depends on the character, right? I mean, most greys can use soup, right? Soup here. Wait, is it basic shield or... No. Yeah, it would work. That's insane. So, insane on Stalwart, insane on Keeper. Not impactful on Paladin, that's for sure. Somewhat impactful on Valkyrie, although I don't want Valkyrie. Very good with Prince, because we have uh, this that would start healing rate, which is actually insane. And this would self-shield self-heal, I think? So it's, all, it's always good, basically. I think. Oh no, wait, it replaces... Oh, wait, no. Okay, never mind. I forgot this item. Okay, okay. It's not what I thought it was. Oops. I forgot it replaces this side with the... Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. It's not, it's not as good as I thought. <laughs> Shit. That's the downside of me taking a break for this long. I totally forgot. This actually replaces the side with a different side. It's not adding self-heal. It's not adding heal to the side. It's completely changing the side. Eh. <sighs> Whatever. The idol would have been way more impactful, probably. But hey. Is what it is. Holy shit, this fight's hard. Do I roll or regen to counteract that? Probably not. I need to kill the illusions, so I'll probably keep the mana. Stun is decent. It's kind of. Oh, I forgot to remove this from Fiend. Whoops. Shit, who's dying? Wait, how? Okay. Petrify Medic? That's really bad, actually. Wait, who's... What's not impactful here? Well, both of Weekend are really impactful, but... Maybe less so on Dabbler? Maybe it's not that bad that it's... I think it is pretty bad. 
Uh, it might be better than Weekend. I feel like Weekend is more impactful. I guess I'll just follow my initial line. I have to start killing the core, so I don't want to lose damage. I'd rather have one less chance of rolling something back. Well, that's perfect. Wow, that's absolutely absurd. Who is hitting? Okay, that's probably fine. I can probably kill that. We have a kill here. We have well, at least a stun here, which is fine. And then kill on this. Gladiator taking reasonable damage, but not too bad. Renew can just pop it back up. Not a problem. Yeah, chill is fine. I don't want to risk blank. Oh, actually, there's no blank. Oh, there's one blank. Holy shit, that's bad. Oops. Gotta renew that. Before I do this. No. Bard is a no. Cleric. I like Cleric. I think Cleric's great. Is it better than most of the tier 2s though? Because since I have soup, a lot of the tier 2s are where you get a lot of value from soup. So maybe there's more value in a random here. We have, wait, this would replace, wait, this would replace the self shield. Place shield self shield. Yeah, okay, so it would replace the redirect. So it's definitely, <laughs> soup is not as good as I thought. I think there are some characters that can use it, but. So like here, it's really not that good. Wait, does it retain keywords? Oh wait, it does retain the keywords. Wait, why is it not working with with self shield? Oh no, wait, no, no, because it. Re yeah, okay, I get it, I get it. Never mind. It does do what I think it does, retaining the original pips and other keywords. Okay, never mind. I'm like kind of gaslighting myself into thinking it's not what I kind of remember it being, and it actually was. It's just the interaction with self shield is is a little bit different. And redirect is not a keyword, isn't it? That's probably the reason why I'm confused. Yeah, 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 okay. So the only keyword on this is self shield, and that gets replaced with the with the new thing. So this would actually work, which is good. This would not work. This would have worked, but it's not on the field. I'm willing to take cleric here. Yeah, okay. It does work. Never mind. Soup is good. <laughs> All right. Also, this has to go, and then. Yeah, I think I'd rather have mana than that. I could swap and replace. So, like, for example, here. That makes a lot more sense. Now, this is where things get a <laughs> This is where things get somewhat problematic. Because graves are really difficult to deal with here. Other than the fact that I have the AoE thing. Could help, I guess. Shit, I have to start with this. Then I gotta kill a grave. Definitely. And I guess that's it, huh? At least Shade is on death's door here, which is nice. Almost a guaranteed kill. I'm gonna roll for... Holy shit, seven? Jesus. Uh, Pretty tough stuff here, but... I gotta roll for the cleave here. Heal, right? Wow, this is good mana. Um, I'm still gonna roll that. I will keep this. Whoa. I mean, to be fair, this is kind of fine. I can just do this, and then this, and then this. And that puts this dead. This also dead. This also dead. Whoa. Hmm. 
Well, I guess not really, because I could just... Wait, that's just shield? Oh, it is shield, okay. Eh, I think that's okay. There might have been a better play in that turn, but... It will all lead to me winning in the end, so it's not a massive deal. I'm trying to think of how to do this. Maybe... Tier 5, this is useful, this is somewhat useful, this is also, no, that's a no. Cracked wheel. Hmm. Fearless is so good. All right. Not even a question, basically. When you have no rightmost or right side, it's like... <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Holy shit, that's bad. Well, at least it can protect itself somewhat. Also, Wiz uh, basically blanking turn one is really, really nice for me. Guess I'll start with that, and then probably, probably try to find stun or mana. Actually, no, wait, 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 wait. No, that was a two shield. Okay, if it was a three shield, I could flee. Oh wait, no, it's hitting Dabbler. Oh, probably keep that. Sounds good. All right. Wait, what was this hitting? Gray Cleric? Okay, so you... I, I guess... Technically... I could just let it explode. Which isn't... The only problem is that it's gonna heal Militia, because I can't kill it, right? I don't think that's... I, I, I don't think that's worth it. I feel like that's kind of a waste. I can probably just play it slow and be kind of fine. Maybe... no, I, I just... I mean, that's a lot of mana to sink into that. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna... I don't know, I guess just use that as two shield and shield here and... Pass? Feels kind of like a waste, but... I can use this for one damage, which I guess is maybe worth it, but... Or I could use this for two shield. Or... This is safe, so I could just do this. That seems a lot better. There's almost no way Gladiator can die here, I think. Maybe. I mean, I hope not, but since I ever knew, it's almost guaranteed. Fine, I'll keep the mana, whatever. Nice blank. Let's do this instead. Ludus, or Artificer? Ugh. I mean, I kind of like Artificer. But it's so wacky, like, <laughs> I don't know, it just feels like... I'm gonna hit a long boss fight and I'll just be like, what the hell am I doing with this character? It is really nice before then, though. Almost no synergy with anything that I have. Only thing I can use is Terrarium, which does give it some value, but... I'd rather not. I think I'm, I might random, even though it could screw me over big time. That's the only issue here. The random is really scary. Cleric's really good in this fight. Medic's really good in this fight. Fiend is not that good, though. Artificer, right now it's really good with my team comp, because I have Cleric and Dabbler that can generate mana, so... Immediately, I'm gaining a lot of value from this character. But then, later down the line, it just feels like it's going to fall off. And I'm going to be a big trouble. So, I'm just going to... Is that acceptable to pick Ludus here? Probably not. Never. Never topside, either. Let's say no. That is acceptable. Let's 
That is acceptable, and it might be even more acceptable to put this on it. So I don't think you need this mm, often. I guess it depends on the fight. Here... I mean, I feel like the heal to AoE isn't that relevant here that it needs to grow, and the regen is probably more valuable, so yeah, I, I think this is fine. I'll keep the Terrarium on Medic, though. I might actually do this. I think that's more impactful. Actually, wait, that's not even close. That is always more impactful. Alright, here we go. Or maybe I should have put it on Fiend or... I don't know, we'll see. Gotta try to find the cleanse as consistently as possible here. Couldn't find it. And found a single use. Yikes. Feels like a waste no matter how I do this, right? I guess I'll just do this instead and just go... 3, 2... Regen on Fiend, although... Wait, what's hitting Fiend? You are hitting Fiend? Such a waste of damage if I kill this, though. Wait, Sharp Shot's dying. Never mind. I feel like I, got, I have to get rid of Poison when I whenever I can, so... I'm sure Fiend's fine. I'm sure Fiend is okay. Do I keep the mana? Or do I roll? I gotta roll for regenerate. You're probably keeping that. War damage, which is really good. Mana, which is fine. Stun. Is that okay? Wait. Four. Two. Wait. I'm so dumb. I kind of forgot that was a spell. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. Could have saved it though. Yeah, maybe I should have saved it. Holy shit, I'm not playing this very well, but... It is what it is. Sure, whatever. I probably should have used the Execute. That was another mistake. We don't have that much time to stabilize this, actually. I gotta start moving faster. Yeah, I have to start moving faster. The plague is gonna get to me pretty soon. I guess shield is better than nothing, and then damage. Oh, it's over. Nice. Demonic deal. Pain and plus two pips to all sides. Oh, eucalyptus is just too busted. All right. Wow. This this run is very good. Very 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 good. Trying to think about who wants what. I, I think I definitely want to spread like the healing. Like, I wouldn't want to put all the healing on one character, so it's probably okay on Fiend. And then. Well, it's either that or I split it like this, but. No. Could move the stun to somebody else, but I think that's also wrong. It's also possible that this is better. Because of single use, it gives me like two more slides, which is kind of more relevant. But I would, I don't know if I'd, eh, yeah, I'd be somewhat okay, I guess, with Medic having stun. I need to find mana for this. Which means I, I could I could lock this to guarantee mana, which is probably more important than anything here. Okay, I found mana, so I can roll this. Probably keep it. Well. Okay then. Alright, I can't 
Yeah, I cannot start with Basilisk. That's the problem. This fight is hard. You can't really hit Basilisk because then all your sides are going to turn to stone. Actually, wait, I'm cleansed, right? Yeah, okay, nice. So I guess technically I can go for Basilisk. Is it the smarter play, though? Yeah, probably. There's poison here. This is more straightforward damage. I can mitigate that. Yeah. Problem is, I'm still going to have to find some more cleanse because I won't have the damage. This dodges it, right? Yeah, it does. Good, good, good. Good. So, that's not getting countered at all. This goes here, this goes here. You're dead. And you do two damage for free. Amazing. Team comp's doing good. Items are good. Sharp shot's really good until we get to certain boss fights where it might be a little bit worse, but it's still still good. It's never gonna be bad. It's yeah, it's basically never gonna be a bad character, which is nice. Probably should have shielded that, whatever. Goodbye. Wander with no shield, the witch with no cleave heal. I don't mind wander. Is that so? Best case scenario would be brawler. This would be bad. This would be horrifying. Okay, I can't. I can't random because of this. Barbarian would be pretty bad. Veteran's fine, Bash is fine. Yeah, no, there's not there's not that much better. I'll, I'll just take it. Yeah, there's really not that much better. It's good. It's consistent damage. It has some scaling. It kind of um, mitigates the downside of Sharp Shot, where it's just like, you know, three damage there, three damage there. Although it does grow a little bit, but now I actually have a character that will scale up and has some burst damage as well. It's pretty nice. If I can get it. Am I really rolling for it? I feel like I, it's probably a mistake if I don't. Sure. What's the plan? Yeah, it doesn't work, right? Okay. Hitting orange, hitting yellow. Yellow's okay, probably. Shield on Fiend. Okay. Acceptable. Four damage. Heal. Four damage. More mana. More shield. That's definitely a waste of damage. I think I just go... I think I just kill an ogre here. Might as well. I don't want to waste four damage into this when it can only take three. Wait. No, yeah. Three da so three damage would put it down to the steel HP. Wow, that's amazing. Sure, whatever. I. Oh wait, that was going into Fiend, so I actually don't need to shield it that much. But I'll just go here. Boots of speed and flute. Holy shit, I'm getting like the best the best item for the best items for right to blank. This is absurd. So boots of speed. Very good. Allows me to roll a little bit more consistently. Also allows me to have a dodge on sharp shot in case we face the hand. This would be better against every other boss, probably. It's a tough decision. Yeah, that's a tough decision, actually. 
This is really, really busted. It is worse with Wanderer, though, because you want Wanderer to take damage. I think I'm going to take Boots of Speed. Uh, that's a tough call, actually. Because right now, it's not that useful. No character, unless I want to replace a middle. Which I don't. No character really wants Boots of Speed until we face a boss that can actually hit. Well, either Inevitable. It would be good against Inevitable. And it would also be good against the end. Sometimes Hex, yeah. And sometimes Dragon, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's just... It's more of a boss item, whereas this is just always good. That's actually kind of hard to do. <laughs> this, this is definitely the hardest decision so far. I'm really scared of the hand. But this is also quite good against the hand, as long as it doesn't roll. So if it rolls execute, then obviously this is better. Um, if it doesn't roll execute, then this is just way better because it counters the, the cleave stuff, the AoE. But I think it's just better to take Boots of Speed. I don't think I'm going to lose against regular fights, so... Yeah, just as insurance. Obviously, I guess I'm just probably not going to equip it for now, or... No, I can't. I don't, know, I don't know what to do here with this. Like, the dodge isn't really relevant on anybody over like their actual left side or middle. So I can, I can swap, but demon. Then again, ha again, having the extra roll is definitely good, <sighs> especially against ghosts. So what I could do here is take off the manure and just go for this, which I think is the best play I have with the boots. So I can just take off. Yeah, for short fights, I guess this, the growth is not that relevant. So that's probably the obvious answer. Holy moly, what the fuck? It's done. You need shield. Dodge. We have an extra roll, so mana is good. Three damage is fine. You need to hit stun. You need to hit any shield. Please hit stun, please. I didn't hit execute, holy shit. Wow, that is just so unlucky. Couldn't hit this, couldn't hit this. And that's it, <laughs> GG. Damn it. Yeah, Medic dying turn one is really, really, really bad. I have absolutely no way of saving it. Well, this is scary. I thought I couldn't die, but I don't. Well, obviously, the, the flute would not have made a difference. Actually, this made more of an impact on the fight than the flute would have. It's just a very unfortunate turn one here. Really, really unfortunate. Everything was targeting one character. So four damage kills Ghost. What else is targeting? So I need to kill the other Ghost, which is definitely doable. You're dying to Bandit alone. Wow, are you serious? Are you actually serious? Bandit alone is killing Sharp. I have to roll. Oh wow, that's me. That's great. That's great. That's great. So we could do this. Bandit's gone. I forgot about that too. <laughs> okay. Ghost is gone. Or, yeah, Ghost is gone. Shield first, probably. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to deal one damage for one mana. Okay. Uh, this is still scary, but Cleric has a lot of sustainability, so should be reasonably okay. We have the extra roll still. I want to roll for something else. Yeah, I'll roll. No, I'll keep that. Please give me the five. Are you kidding me? Ugh. So bad. Wander. Three rolls. Can't even hit the, the arrow side. There we go, though. Pretty good. Very good. Okay, okay Sharp Shot is just such a good character in, in regular fights. 
Okay. All right. All right. So this pretty much is exactly what I wanted, right? Surgeon has some of the best sides in the game. It's missing two of them, but I will be lacking in AOE healing, which is somewhat problematic. That's where this is where flute would have been better, but still, like obviously this is busted. And while yeah, I just don't want to random here, I, I don't want to hit like there's a lot worse, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. Do I want to keep the stun on it, or do I want to move the stun? No. All right, in this fight, somebody's gotta hold this. But I don't think it can be sharp shot or or I remove the execute which in fact is actually pretty good I mean that was my initial plan against bosses to go like this so yeah I think that's fine let's do it it's <laughs> starting off strong all right nine damage inflict death great love that got some cleanse though got a guaranteed cleanse if I want to but the issue is that I also have to protect the character. I could also roll for cons. I have three rolls. Right? Yeah, I should roll. This is going to stay. Three. I guess. I don't know. I feel like I should keep that. It's too risky. All three. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? Triangle. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the. I'm gonna have to use this, unfortunately. But I guess it is what it is, right? So I'll go here, 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 here. I can't really afford to roll. Probably kill a quartz that's weakening. What's worse here, weakening the range damage or probably weakening wander. this in. Death again? Are you kidding? Ah, so sad. Wait. Okay, never mind. I actually targeted the wrong one, right? Yikes. At least that protects it a little bit, and we can roll for cleanse. Or, no, I, I need to find the cleanse. It's actually very, very important that somebody lands a cleanse here. Come on. I might let it die, honestly. So sad. Yeah, I might let it die here. Just have to operate on it. It's it's too risky to leave a character that has cantrip up with death and spending that much mana to save it. Wow. <laughs> Great. Absolutely wonderful. I probably should still roll for growth sides, right? That's fine. Slate is very annoying, but I have a stun potentially if I want to, although I don't really care. What is this top bottom for? We have... Can I do four damage? Sharp shot? Yeah, there is one. Okay, so... What are you looking for? This might be lethal if I find the right combination here. I keep that. I could just keep the stun just to guarantee that two people stay alive. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Look for the cleanse if I can. Look for the four. 
Can I stun this? I think I can. Nice. That makes things easier. Probably should have healed up Surgeon. There's a three. Which I guess is probably a keep anyways, because it's too risky to roll. Try to find stun. Cleanse. I mean, I'm assuming Basalt is always dead here. That's yeah, probably just gone. Gone, gone, gone. Sapphire Ring. Brimstone, Brimstone is not very good here. Sapphire Ring is usually good. Plus one to all mana, mana gain sides. I'm assuming whatever blue we get can use that. To a reasonable effect. So, Warlock, eh. Not so much Warlock. Kronos, eh. Sorcerer, amazing. Wizard, amazing. Weaver, pretty good. Ace. Also good, I would say. Yeah. And Gas is like kind of unplayable, but <laughs> I might take it safe. I don't remember the items too well. I guess there are a lot of items that are really good, like Poison Dip. Yeah. Lion, also really good. Identical, yeah. There's a, yeah. There's a lot of stuff that's really good in, in this uh, tier. Blank size of three mana. It might not be worth it. This is like kind of minimal impact. I, I could probably find something that has more impact than this. Yeah. I might random. I, I don't think this imp this impacts that much. At the end of the day. Other than on two characters, like two characters can use it to very very good effect, being wizard and and sorcerer, and I would really want to find those characters, but the other characters don't use it that well. Nothing really uses it that well right now either. Other than putting Surgeon at... Okay, Surgeon being able to self-proc the first activation of Operate is pretty nice. But I don't think it's that impactful still. Eh, you know what? I'll take it. Whatever. Like, it's still useful right now. I should roll out. Like if I if I find a, s a sorcerer, we are in <laughs> great shape. Whoops. I should have swapped that around. That's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. I totally forgot to swap that out. Whoa, that's bad. <sighs> Sniper and call. Pain on Surgeon. Uh, just deal with it. Oh, uh, I could cleanse it. That might be the easier way out here and just deal with the uh, summon. Fine. Would be looking for the four here. Alright, whatever, I'm just gonna settle. It looks like Wander doesn't want to roll the side that I wanted to. Okay. Still in a good spot. That thing's gonna gain a ton of health. Oh wait, no, now it's pain. Wait. Where's the pain? Wander? Jeez. Do I have a cleanse? I do. Actually, I have two clones. Please? Nice. Oh, wow, got both. 
No, 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 this is going here. Uh, oh, never mind. Stoic and War- so I found Warlock, uh, but- I mean, I love Warlock, I think it's really good. Very easy to generate 6 mana as well. This seems pretty- it seems too risky to just random this away. Like, Warlock is already a good character, I-, I obviously I can find better, but... There's also misses, right? Yeah, that's the problem. Like, you, I can also miss harder than... And I have an extra roll for Warlock, which makes it much better as well. Yeah, it's just like, whatever. It, it's okay. I think it's totally reasonable. Um, I'm wondering if I do this because it, it would give Warlock a little bit more consistency, allow me to roll. Yeah, I don't hate this. And then putting, yeah, that's okay. I think that's fine. Wait a minute. I, oh shit, somebody commented this probably already. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, you're gonna have to be, uh, you guys are probably gonna have to accept that. There's gonna be, uh, yeah, there are gonna be more mistakes here until I get used to things again. I, I guess at this point I should probably just keep that on Cleric. Wait a minute. This is insane. I forgot about that. That is actually absurd. But then who wants this? Maybe Sharp Shot? I guess Sharp Shot is like the least likely to do a lot of damage. Compared to, like, between Wander and Sharp Shot, this will eventually do more damage, so... Well, maybe not. Not with growth, maybe? I don't know. Hard to say. I think this is the best combo, though, because the Warlock self-heal side is not necessarily that good. I'd rather have dodge. So, if I get enough mana here, which I probably will, I can just blast the Banshee, which would be nice. I gotta find mana though, please. Anybody? Guys? Hello? Can you find another damage side, please? Oh man, okay, whatever. Stunned. Damage, four mana. Couldn't ah, uh, couldn't get it. I actually couldn't get it. That's so unfortunate. That makes me pretty angry, actually. But um, it's all right. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Three whiz is dead. Four mana, mana. There we go. Come on. Four? Yes. Okay, you're gone. You are healed. You are dead. And you are dying. Emerald mirror. Six to eight. Six to eight. So that would be seven. Ugh. I don't know if I want to do that. Damn, adding adding boots and eucalyptus to a character is kind of crazy. That would be five rolls. Isn't that like kind of good, even though it's not like... It's probably not going to copy Sapphire Ring unless... No, I guess I could move this back to Sharp Shot. Oh, but then it would replace this. Okay, wait, wait. Yeah, that's the problem. The problem is I need this to be on on Warlock, right? So it's impossible for me to put Sapphire Ring. Yeah, it's impossible for me to put the 6 to 8 on it. Wait, no, no, no. No, I can just do this, move this here. Yeah, actually it's dual. I don't think Spike Stone is very good, especially with the consistent rolling that I have. So it's either I take the 6 to 8, which is quite good. It does make Warlock deal more damage to itself, but I think that's kind of okay. It would give me an extra roll, which is kind of crazy. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of a no-brainer. 
Although it would remove, it would essentially remove sharp shots, execute. If I'm going to do that. Wait, let me think about this more. So what, what happens if I want sharp shots, execute? What can I do? I could put the six to eight on nobody. You? So I'd have to do this. Or no, wait, wait, no. I would just have to put this on Cleric, which sounds bad. I, I don't know if it's that good. Like, the extra roll is nice, but is it really that impactful? When I'd have to remove a left slide? I mean, I guess, I, I guess the boss... There are some bosses where this is actually impactful too, like killing uh, the adds. Like even killing swords and stuff. But it would give a dodge to a second character, which is kind of nice. Having two dodges is pretty... Yeah, having two dodges with five rolls is kind of insane, right? Yeah, I should I should look at it that way, where... Yeah. Where having five rolls and two dodges means that two characters are going to stay alive no matter what for the most part, so... You could even argue that Wanderer is supposed to have the dodge. Because this is probably less impactful than Execute in some cases. And I would probably say that you'd be correct, so... I don't hate it. I actually don't hate that. Alright. Well, in this fight... No, Execute is good in this fight. Is it? 13 damage? It's not... No, it's not that good. Okay, so in this fight, it would be wrong. Alright, let's do it. Look at this warlock, what the hell is this? Custom character. Alright, so we're looking for mana. We are looking for as much mana as we can find. There's mana, there's mana. That's not mana. I love having the rolls. That's four rolls, not five. I don't know why I said five. Wait. Wait, shouldn't it be five rolls? Gain the effects of all tier six to eight. Is this uh, so? Is the plus one roll not an effect? Is that what's going on here? So effect would only be this. But isn't plus one pip also kind of like that? Like plus one, shouldn't that count? Why does it not work? Or is plus one reroll not really plus one reroll, but it's like plus one over your max, so it, it caps at one? This feels weird to me. Or did I just not view it? Wait, no, 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 it is four. No, it is four rolls. I'm so dumb. You have three rolls counting the first one, which means you have two rerolls. Uh, never mind, I'm dumb. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I got, I got it. I got it. More mana, please. You can probably keep that. I guess you can keep that. I mean, I already have enough to blast, but I kind of want to still find the mana. No, don't break, please. Uh, whatever. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to power through this one and just blast this instead. This seems really good right now. I've actually never gotten like this kind of combo with the boots, duplicating the boots. Pretty nice. It does feel pretty good. Stalwart. Okay. It's pretty much exactly what I'd want. Either of these. They're both fantastic. Uh, I would say Stalwart probably better, right? Unless I value Repel. So in this fight, no, Cleanse is, mo is way more valuable in this fight. But we have a shit ton of cleanse, but still. It doesn't hurt to have like a shield two, cleave two, heal two. A shield two, heal two, cleave. Yeah. More impactful, I think. 
This is kind of nice with Warlock to have a shield 5, heal 5, steel. I mean, steel not super relevant here. I mean, I guess, yeah, it, it is kind of nice to have something to tank, like a huge hit. But I still think consistently finding cleanse is more impactful in this fight. There's so much I want to cleanse. Now, this is a fight where I mentioned the execute being actually good. But uh, it's so difficult to, to justify. I also don't know if the growth is actually relevant in this fight. I don't think it is. I think Warlock's the one dealing the damage, so I don't care about the growth. So I want to keep this at 6. I'd want to consistently roll this. So, who's holding this? I guess Wanderer? This doesn't have consistent impact, that's the problem. It could be like a 1 damage hit. I, I think I agree with that. This is like the lowest impact side that I have, I think, yeah. There's also an argument for this... wait, no. I don't know. I was gonna say, why am I not doing that? Or, or like this, just to upgrade the mana. And have Stalwart be able to stun. Or maybe have you stun, potentially. Because you're going to be less useful later. Whereas the shielding and cleansing is always useful, I feel like, against uh, Inevitable. Yeah. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Four damage, it's a good start. So yeah, this is where I need cleanse. But should I just blast? Wait, who has? Oh, you have the cleanse, okay. Yeah, I gotta, I have to find a, I have to find this. I'm gonna try to find execute. I think, I think I probably should. Oh no, wait, I was like, I have to put that there, okay. So Wander has to roll the individual cleanse here. Good. Please. There we go. Perfect. Actually insane. All right. Good. Very good start. Very very good start. This is just amazing. Pain is cleansed, so I don't really care. I'm just gonna. Deal. So you're beating Blaze, you're getting... This is going to be the easiest fight ever, right? Like, <laughs> I have so much mana gen. I just got to make sure I don't get overwhelmed. So we're, that's what we're going to do here. I, I pretty much have the perfect build for Inevitable here. Double Eucalyptus completely counters the most threatening part of this character, of this enemy. The Exert Cleave that can completely shut you down. Um... I guess four mana is enough, especially because I'm going to... Well, no, I'm going to look for an execute here. So I do, I do need the cleanse again, but not the eucalyptus necessarily. I mean, it's weak in four, so... Probably don't need it. I'm still trying to roll the execute here. And then just four damage is probably... Is 4 damage better than cleanse though? Because if I cleanse Warlock, it's almost guaranteed to kill Inevitable next turn. Whereas that would probably not be the case otherwise. I'll keep it. I will keep it. I had to open the door for my dog there. Okay. I'm trying to find the execute. Yep, alright, let's go. Mana. Pretty good. Still want the execute. I will lock. Nice. Amazing. Maybe I do this just to get extra mana and just go for like blaze and then. I don't know. <laughs> Is that a play? I I'm gaining a burst, which is somewhat reasonable, I guess. Then this is getting weakened for one, now it's no longer. And then this is getting weakened for like almost nothing. Alright, we're good. I I'm happy with this. This is almost guaranteed done. 
Actually, I don't even need to blaze it. Two, because we can. I still want the execute. You want mana. You want five. There's five. There's execute. There's mana. Not the not the correct mana though, but yeah, I still want to roll this. Please, no. Okay. Actually, no. It's not a play rate. I just go here and then. Is it even worth blazing? Isn't it better to just go like one two. Then one two again. And pass and win. All right, that was it. That was probably one of the easiest inevitable inevitable fights I've ever had in this game. Freest shit ever. Like not a single turn was I under threat of losing the game, especially with the five rolls. It's so crazy. It's actually so insane that I have five rolls. <laughs> I forgot to use them there. Wow, this sharp this sharp shot has been incredible. This is definitely the best fight for sharp shot. It's the one where you have to kill the wisp. It is just so so impactful. All right, you're getting blazed. I don't care. Lee? Yep. Okay, good run. I'm happy with that. That, that felt really good. Uh, I don't know if I made the right choices uh, across the board, but everything kind of lined up, so I didn't really have to make super tough choices. What was the... Was it a character choice where I was like, I, I ran him into Sharp Shot? Yeah, that was probably... That was the only thing... The only decision I made where maybe it was not correct to random, but I think it was, right? I don't remember what the options were. Either way, good run. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.